Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjaliya Mall Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the subject Design of Transmission Systems. And this is lecture number 5.7. We are going to solve few more problems in Design of Spur Gear from the Anna University question paper. And the learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture the student will be able to design spur gear using the PSG design data book. And this is example number 5 from November 2011 and May 2009 question paper. Design a pair of spur gear drive to be operated for rock crusher. The gear and the pinion are made of case hardened alloy steel. The pinion is transmitting 30 kW at 1200 rpm. The gear ratio is assumed to be 3. The gear is to work 12 hours per day for 5 years. We write down the given data. So, the power is 30 kW, pinion speed 1200 rpm, speed ratio 3, material case hardened alloy steel, life 12 hours per day for 5 years. So, we calculate the speed ratio i equal to 3, it is given in the problem and choose the material. So, it is also given case hardened alloy steel given the problem. We take the properties of pinion material alloy steel 35 mn 2 mo 45 from PSG data book page number 1.13 the ultimate tensile strength sigma u equal to 10,000 kilogram force per centimeter square yield strength 7,000 kilogram force per centimeter square and the Brunel hardness number BHN 300. Now, we calculate the torque to be transmitted by the gear. So, the Mt equal to 97,420 into power in kilowatt divided by the pinion speed. 97,420 into 30 divided by 1200 equal to 2435.5 kilogram per centimeter. Then, we have to take KKD equal to 1.3 initially for our calculation. Later on for checking, we take the K and KD value from the data book. The design torque Mt within square bracket equal to torque into KKD. So, 2435.5 into 1.3 equal to 3165.15 kilogram per centimeter. Then we take the equivalent strength modulus for alloy steel E equal to 2.15 in 10 per 6 kilogram force per centimeter square. And we take B by A psi value 0.3 for our calculation. Then design compressive stress. The equation is available in the page number 8.16 for hardened alloy steel coefficient C R equal to 280 and Rockwell C hardness number is 60. Life in number of cycles 60 into N into T. So, 60 into 1200 into 12 hours 365 days for 5 years it is 1.5 10 power 8. So, life factor is 1 for life in number of cycles greater than 10 power 7. Then the design compressive state sigma c within square bracket equal to CR HRC KCL 280 into 60 into 1 equal to 16800 kilogram force per centimeter square. Then we calculate the center distance. The equation is available in the page number 8.13. A is greater than or equal to I plus 1 into cubic root of 0 0.74 divided by sigma c whole square into E into design torque divided by I into psi. So, 3 plus 1 into cubic root of 0.74 divided by 16,800 square into 2.5 in 10 power 6 into 3,165.15 divided by 3 into 0 0.3 which is 9.79 centimeter. Then we calculate the design bending stress. The equation is available in the page number 8.18. The data required for design bending stress endurance limit for the alloy steel sigma minus 1 equal to 0 0.35 sigma u plus 1200. So, 0 0.35 into 10,000 plus 1200 equal to 4700 kilogram force per centimeter square. Factor of safety equal to 2. Stress concentration factor equal to 1.5. And life factor for bending, it is taken as 1 for the life greater than 10 power 7. So, sigma b equal to 1.4 into kbl divided by n into k sigma into sigma minus 1. So, substituting numerical values 1.4 into 1 divided by 2 into 1.5 into 4700 equal to 
2193.3 kilogram force per centimeter square. The minimum value of the module from page number 8.13, we have to take number of teeth on the pinion Z1 equal to 18 and the form factor for 18 is 0 0.308 for full depth 20 degree pressure angle. Then the psi m B by m equal to 10, initially we take 10, then we calculate the module. Module is greater than or equal to 1.26 into cubic root of design torque divided by design bending stress, form factor psi m into z1, which is greater than or equal to 1.26 into cubic root of 3166.15 divided by 2193.3 into 0 0.308 into 10 into 18, which is 0.37 centimeter. So, the standard module from table 1, m equal to 4 millimeter, which is 0.4 centimeter. Now, we calculate the number of teeth on the pinion. So, z1 equal to 2a divided by i plus 1 into m. So, 2 into 9.79 divided by 3 plus 1 into 0.4 equal to 12.23. We make it as 13. But, if we take the minimum number of teeth for the pinion z1 equal to 18 and number of teeth on the gear z2 equal to i into z1 which is 3 into 18 equal to 54. Then we calculate the dimensions of the gear. So, PCD of the pinion D1 equal to M into Z1, 0 0.4 into 18 equal to 7.2 centimeter. PCD of gear D2 equal to M into Z2, which is 0.4 into 54 equal to 21.6 centimeter. The center distance A equal to D1 plus D2 divided by 2, 7.2 plus 21.6 divided by 2 equal to 14.4 centimeter. Then we calculate the face width. So, B equal to psi into A. So, 0.3 into 14.4 equal to 4.32 centimeter. B is also equal to psi m into m, which is 10 into 0.4 equal to 4 centimeter. The higher value is 4.32 centimeter. So, the actual face width equal to 4.32 centimeter. Now, we calculate the pitch line velocity. V equal to pi d1 n divided by 60, pi into 0.072 into 1200 divided by 60 equal to 4.5 meters per second. Now, we have to check. For checking, we require KKD value. So, K load concentration factor is 1.06 for psi P equal to 0.55 and dynamic load factor is 1.25 for AS quality 6 and the pitch line velocity 4.5 meters per second. Then, the design torque, we calculate for the designed gear. Mt within bracket equal to Mt into KKD 2435.5 into 1.06 into 1.25 equal to 3227 kilogram per centimeter and the check for the compressive stress. The equation is there in the table number 8. Sigma C equal to 0.74 into I plus 1 by A into square root of I plus 1 into E into design torque divided by IB which should be less than or equal to the design compressive stress. So, substituting numerical values 0.74 into 3 plus 1 divided by 14.4 into square root of 3 plus 1 into 2.15 10 power 6 into 3227 divided by 3 into 4.32. The value design compressive stress is 9512 which is less than 16800. So, the actual compressive stress is less than the design compressive stress. So, the design is safe. Then we check for the bending stress. The equation is there on the table number 8. The, the bending stress sigma b equal to i plus 1 divided by a m b y into design torque which is less than or equal to the design bending stress what we calculated earlier. Substitute in numerical value is the design bending stress 3 plus 1 divided by 14.4 into 0.4 into 4.32 into 0.308 into 3227 calculating the 1684.2 which is less than 2193.3. So, the actual bending stress is less than the design bending stress. So, the design is safe. Then, we write down the specification of the gear drive. So, module 4 millimeter, center distance 14.4 centimeter, number of teeth Z1 equal to 18, Z2 equal to 54, PCD of pinion D1 equal to 7.2 centimeter, D2 equal to PCD of gear D2 equal to 21.6 centimeter. Face width 4.32 centimeter, addendum FO into M 1 into 4 equal to 4 millimeter, addendum FO plus C into M 1 plus 0.25 into 4 equal to 5 millimeter, and tooth height equal to addendum plus addendum equal to 9 millimeter, 
hip circle diameter of the pinion PCD plus arundum 7.2 plus 0.4 equal to 7.6 cm and the tip circle diameter of the gear PCD plus arundum equal to 21.6 plus 0.4 equal to 22 cm. Then we take another example, so example number 6 and this question was appearing in May 2011 and May 2014. Design a spur gear drive for a stone crusher, the gears gears are made of C40 steel, the pinion is transmitting 30 kW at 1200 rpm, the gear ratio is 3. The gear is to work 8 hours per day, 6 days a week for 3 years. And the given data, we write down the given data, so power is 30 kW, pinion speed 1200 rpm, I equal to 3, material C40, life 8 hours per day, 6 days a week and 3 years. Calculating it is 7488 hours. Then speed ratio is given in the problem I equal to 3. And we take the material, material is also given in the problem C40. We take the properties of C40 from the PSG data book, page number 1.9. Ultimate tensile strength 6800 kilogram force per centimeter square. Yield strength 3300 kilogram force per centimeter square. Bernal harness number 217. And the torque to be transmitted, Mt equal to 97,420 into power in kilowatt divided by the pinion speed, 97,420 into 30 divided by 1200 equal to 2435.5 kilogram force centimeter. Then we take the KKD initially, 1.3. For checking, we take the K and KD value from the data book. So design torque, Mt within square bracket equal to Mt into KKD, 2435.5 into 1.3 equal to 31. 66.15 kg 4 cm. Then we calculate the take the equivalence Young's modulus for the steel C40 steel. Young's modulus equal to 2.15 in 10 power 6 kg 4 per cm square. Then we take the psi value B by A equal to 0.3 for our calculation. Then the design compressive stress. So the design compressive stress for the C40 steel carbon steel coefficient C R equal to 265, Rockwell C harness number is 55, life equal to 60 into 1200 into 7488 equal to 5.39 in 10 power 8, which is greater than 10 power 7, so life factor equal to 1. Then we calculate the design compressive stress, sigma C within bracket, C R into H R C into K C L, 265 into 55 equal to 14,575 kilogram force per centimeter square. Then the center distance, the equation is there in the page number 8.13. A is greater than or equal to I plus 1 into cubic root of 0.74 divided by compressive stress, design compressive stress whole square into E into design torque divided by I into psi. So, substituting numerical values, 3 plus 1 into cubic root of 0.74 divided by 14,575 whole square into 2.15 into 10 power 6 into 3166.15 divided by 3 into 0.3, which is 10.76 centimeter. Then we calculate the design bending stress. So, equation is there in the page number 8.18. We require some data. So, endurance limit for the steel, C40 steel casting process, 0.22 into sigma u plus sigma v plus 500. So, substituting 0.22 into 6800 plus 3300 plus 500 equal to 2722 kilogram force per centimeter square. Factor of safety, we take 1 for surface hardened steel. Stress concentration factor is 1.5 and life factor for bending is 1. So, substituting sigma b within bracket 1.4 into kbl divided by n into k sigma into sigma minus 1. So, 1.4 into 1 divided by 2 into 1.5 into 2722, which is 1270.3 kilogram force per centimeter square. Now, we calculate the module. For calculation of module, we require the data Z1 equal to 18 we take initially. Form factor for Z1 equal to 18 equal to 0 0.308 for 20 degree full depth gear. And the psi m value take 10 for our calculation. The module is calculated. m is greater than or equal to 1.26 into cubic root of design torque divided by design bending stress. Form factor psi m into Z1 which is greater than or equal to 1.26 into cubic root of 3166.5 divided by 1270.3 into 
into 0 0.308 into 10 into 18 which is 0.448. So, we take the standard module as m equal to 5 millimeter which is 0.5 centimeter from table number 1. The number of teeth on the pinion. So, 2a divided by i plus 1 into m. So, 2 into 10.76 divided by 3 plus 1 into 0.5 equal to 10.76. Now, we take minimum number of teeth z1 equal to 18 and number of teeth on the gear z2 equal to i into z1 equal to 3 into 18 which is 20, 54. Then we calculate the fixed circle diameter, the dimensions of the gear, PCD of the pinion d1 equal to m into z1 0.5 into 18 equal to 9 centimeter, PCD of gear d2 equal to m into z2 0.5 into 54 equal to 27 centimeter. Center distance A equal to D1 plus D2 divided by 2, 9 plus 27 divided by 2 equal to 18 centimeter. Then we calculate the face width. So, face width B equal to psi into A, 0 0.3 into 18 equal to 5.4 centimeter. Another equation B equal to psi M into M, so 10 into 0 0.5 equal to 5 centimeter. So, the higher value is 5.4 centimeter, the actual face width is 5.4 centimeter. Then we calculate the pitch line velocity v equal to pi d1 n divided by 60 pi into 0 0.09 into 1200 divided by 60 equal to 5.65 meters per second. Now, we have to check with respect to the pitch line velocity. The load concentration factor we take from the data book k equal to 1.03 for psi p equal to 0.6 and k d dynamic load factor from table number 15 k d equal to 1.37 for is quality 5 and velocity equal to 5.65 meters per second. Then we calculate the design torque for our gear. So, M T equal to this torque into K K D 2435.5 into 1.03 into 1.37 equal to 3436.7 kilogram force centimeter. Then check for the design, check for the compressive stress. Sigma C equal to 0.74 into I plus 1 divided by A into square root of i plus 1 into e into the torque design torque for our gear divided by i into b which should be less than or equal to the design compressive stress what we calculated earlier. So, substituting numerical values 0.74 into 3 plus 1 divided by 18 into square root of 3 plus 1 into 2.15 in 10 power 6 into 3436.7 divided by 3 into pi 5.4 the value is 7023.95 which is less than 14,575. So, the actual compressive stress is less than the design compressive stress. So, the design is safe. Then next we have to check for the bending stress. Sigma B equal to I plus 1 divided by A M B Y into design torque. The value should be less than or equal to the design bending stress. Sigma B equal to 3 plus 1 divided by 18 into 0.5 into 5.4 into 0 0.308 into 3436.7 calculating the bending stress actual bending stress is 918.3 which is less than 1270.3 design bending stress. So, the actual bending stress is less than the design bending stress. So, the design is safe. Now, we write down the data for the spur gear design module 5 millimeter center distance 18 centimeter number of teeth on the pinion 18, number of teeth on the gear 54, PCD of pinion 9 centimeter, PCD of gear 27 centimeter, face width 5.4 centimeter, addendum FO into M 1 into 5 equal to 5 millimeter, redundum FO plus C into M 1 plus 0 0.25 into M equal to 6.25 centimeter, tooth height addendum plus redundum equal to 11.25 millimeter and the tip circle diameter of the pinion. PCD of the pinion plus addendum 9 plus 0.5 equal to 9.5 centimeter. TCD of gear tip circle diameter of the gear PCD plus addendum equal to 27 plus 0.5 equal to 27.5 centimeter. So, we stop here. So, these are all the problem in this per gear design. We solved six problems. You listen to the video lectures and note down the procedure and the methodology and you take a problem and solve on your own. So, only when you solve the problem on your own you can understand the procedure, you can remember the procedure for a longer time. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have published in mechanical engineering subject. I am uploading the video lectures on the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better learning. So, thank you for watching. You please post your comments on the comments box. 
you can contact me through my mail id or whatsapp number for any clarification on the subject we'll meet again another video lecture on the design of transmission system